Hello students, previously lesson 10 in form 4, we were dealing with solubility curves and we have given one example. So in this lesson 11, we are going to, to be continued with the solubility curve, example 2. The, top, the table below shows the solubility of potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5 at different temperatures. So we are having temperature degree Celsius and degree Celsius, it's from 0 all the way to 100 degree Celsius. Then we are having solubility of potassium chloride in gram by 100 gram of water. Then we are having solubility of potassium chloride 5 in gram by 100 gram of water. So these are the values given. So A, we are told on the grid provided below, blot a graph on the solubility of potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5 against temperature on the same axis. So learn us previously, we were using only one we were having only one salt, so we were drawing only one calf. But here we are given now two salts. So that means we are expected to draw two calves on the same axis. That means on the same Cartesian plane or on the same graph paper. So here, first of all, let's just try to get our, our scales. And we are going to start with, the, first of all, which are we going to put between temperature and dissolubility on the x-axis and on the y-axis. So you can know which one to put on the x-axis. You just read the question A on the grid provided where you see after against, you're going to put that one on the x-axis. So that means we're having against the temperature. That means temperature will be blotted on the x-axis. So the other one now, the graph starts like blot a graph on the solubility of potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5 that will be on the y-axis so let's get the scale for the x-axis in my cartesian plane the one i have here as you see this one it is 15 square boxes on the x-axis and another 15 square boxes on the y-axis that means the scale that's very appropriate on the x-axis will be one centimeter square to represent 10 degree Celsius. Okay, remember, learners, uh, your curves has they have to cover three quarter of the graph paper or the Cartesian plane. So let's go on the y-axis. We said on the y-axis we are going to draw there the solubility of uh, potassium chloride, the solubility of potassium chloride and uh, potassium chloride five, potassium chloride five. So the scale there, one centimeter square, will represent five gram by 100 gram of water. That will be the best. Okay, learners, try using these uh, scales to draw on your own graphs, and we will see how it look like when you compare with my graph that I've drawn. Okay, so this is how the graph look like. Okay, on the y-axis, as you see, we have solubility of potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5 in gram by 100 gram of water as it is a unit. Then on the x-axis, we are having temperature, which is measured in degree Celsius. There, we are having two curves. We have to label our curves. The one that is here is that of potassium chloride, and the other one that is going up here is potassium chloride 5. Okay, I have, blunt, I have blotted the points. Uh, check, have a look at it. That's the one for potassium chloride. The other points for that potassium chloride 5 is this, this, this here, and this others that you can see. Okay, let's go direct to the questions. <clears throat> we are going to go to the questions. Then we are told uh, from the graph, from the graph in A, state how the solubility of the two salts, that's potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5, varies with temperature. Like as we said, most of the salts, their solubilities, their solubilities increases with increase in temperature. So let's just try to have a look on this graph, whether these two salts, their solubility increases with increase in temperature or whether increase in temperature decreases the solubility of these salts. Okay, as you see, first of all, the first... This potassium chloride 5, it is here, it is starting here. When the temperature is zero, the solubility is uh, 20, it is uh, 4. 4 gram by 100 gram of water. 
but as the temperature increases, that means it is solubility is also increasing. Check, have a look on the other side of potassium chloride. That means at the start it was 28.0, but when the temperature rose to 20 degrees Celsius, the solubility was 33.0 degrees Celsius. That means increasing the temperature increases the uh, solubility of this both salts. So what are we going to write as our answer? We are going to say increase in temperature. We are going to write increase increase in temperature increases the solubility the solubility of potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5 that will be my answer to that question from the graph in a state how the solubility of the two salts that's potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5 varies with temperature so we are saying increase in temperature increases the solubility of potassium chloride and potassium chloride 5 so but see we are told from the graph determining the following so the first romian from your one c romian one we are told the temperature when the solubility of potassium chloride equal the solubility of potassium chloride 5. So we have to have our, first of all, our graph paper. It is here. And we are going to see where these two salts, their curves, are intercepting. Okay, check. This is where <coughs> the two curves are meeting. So we are supposed to read the temperature where the two, <coughs> this point, so if we just have tried to look at it, we'll just go back and uh, see on the x-axis because that's where we have the temperature. It will be here. So here is in between 80 and 100. So we are having 90 degrees Celsius there. So check where the two curves are meeting is where, where the solubility is equal. So the temperature in which the potassium chloride 5 solubility is equal to that potassium chloride solubility is at 90 degrees Celsius. So we are going to write our answer as 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, in Romeo 2, we are told the solubility of potassium chloride 5 at 50 degrees Celsius. So here they want the solubility. Now they were asking us about the temperature at which the two salts have the same solubility. So, the solubility of potassium chloride 5 at 50 degrees Celsius, we are going to go first of all on that temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So, which temperature? Which temperature is 50 degrees Celsius? So, 50 degrees Celsius is here. Because here we have 40 and here we have 60. Okay. So, if we move with it until that curve of potassium chloride, which is this one here, where are we going to meet? We are going to meet here. So I've said earlier on, one centimeter square on the y-axis represents five, uh, five gram by 100 gram of water. So if this is uh, 10, this is 15. So it will be 16, 17, 18, then this will be 19. It will be 19. So we're having a solubility as 19 gram by 100 gram of water. Remember we said solubility is expressed in gram by 100 gram of water. Then next in row three, we're having the mass of potassium chloride that will crystallize out when it is its saturated solution at 70 degrees Celsius is cooled to 30 degrees Celsius. So we have to go to, back to the graph again and go the temperature of uh, 70 and we check on the uh, potassium chloride curve okay it is here potassium chloride is here this is the curve then i have to go to a temperature of 70 degrees celsius so 70 is in between 60 and 80 so it is this one so i have to move this until i reach that curve of uh, potassium chloride which is this one so if I'm going with 70, I'm reaching here. So the first one here, it is here. 
But if I check from here, this is 40. So that means 40 to the other one. I said each square, one centimeter square box represents 5 gram by 100 gram of water. So there is already 45. So here will be 46, but it is in between. 45 and 46. So we are going to have there 45.5. So we are going to say at 70 degrees Celsius, the solubility I'm at the salt is 45.5 uh, gram of that potassium chloride dissolves in 100 gram of water. What about at 30 degrees Celsius? What will be now the mass of the solute that dissolves in 100 gram of water? So we are going to go again at 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, we go on the temperature side, 20 and 40 in between them, is 30 degrees Celsius. We are going to move with that line until we reach that curve of potassium chloride. It is here. So as we have said earlier on here is 30. So that means one centimeter square box represents five gram by 100 gram of water. That means there is 35 uh, gram by 100 gram of water. But it is in between. This line is in between uh, 35 and 36. So in between 35 and 36 is 35.5. So that means when the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, the mass of potassium chloride will be 35.5 gram. So if I want to get now the mass that crystallizes out when that saturated solution at 70 degrees is cooled to 30 degrees Celsius, it will be 45.5 gram minus 35.5 gram, which will be giving me 10 grams of that potassium chloride. Then lastly, we are told the temperature at which the solubility of potassium chloride is 40 degree, I mean 40 gram by 100 gram of water. So in this case, they have given us again potassium chloride, the, it is solubility. We are told when the solubility of that potassium chloride, which we have, it is curved here, when it is solubility is 40 gram by 100 gram. So 40 gram is here. So we are going to move along until where it reaches on the curve and we are going to go down to see the temperature. So, so at 40 degrees, if it is here, the curve for potassium chloride is here. So, and the scale for this x-axis, it is uh, one square, one centimeter square represents 10, 10 degrees Celsius. That means one small box represents two degrees Celsius. That's how it will be coming. Okay, if it is like that, let's check from here. So if this is 40, the first one will be 42, then 44, then we're having 46. Then the line is passing between 46 and 48. So that means there we're having 47 degrees Celsius. So that means the temperature there will be 47 degrees Celsius. So learners, that's the end for today.